fish. What's up, you guys? My daughter Abby wanted to sit on my lap while I do this intro, but I just wanted to give you guys some info in regards to this video before you watch because it's kind of a lot of different random chopped up clips from multiple days of fishing put into one episode. So just wanted to explain what was going on and why I did that. So as you can see from the title, Josh from Peel and Drag came here to Wisconsin and he stayed at my house for a couple days. We did some fishing together and the goal, the mission was to get him a muskie on the fly. We started talking late last year in the fall. He saw that I was getting on a pretty good river bite with uh, some small tackle, hair jigs, things of that nature. I got onto a lot of muskies, some good fish in the fall last year and he was wondering if he might be able to do that on a fly and I was pretty confident. I told him, yeah, you know what, if you come here in the spring or the fall, You'll have a good chance of getting a muskie on the fly and i really really was hoping we could do the fall because the fall bite's much more aggressive but in the spring you can you can run into a lot of fish on the river and they're pretty active so it's early june right now he's on the road right now back to michigan he just left but we put in two full days of musky fishing and then today we just did a short morning of some bass fishing locally here in my hometown but day one started off really good actually we went to one of my river spots right away, and within the first hour, Josh hooked into a muskie on the fly. And unfortunately, I was upriver <clears throat> scouting, looking for other fish. I was looking for fish in the current or sitting in some pockets of some back eddies. I just wanted to try to find as many fish as I could to give him opportunities to throw his fly at him. And wouldn't you know it, when I was scouting upstream and I was out of shouting range, I couldn't hear him. He tried to shout for me twice. He hooked into a muskie. I mean, we seriously were only there for 30 to 45 minutes. And he got a mid 30 inch fish on and it was only hooked for about 10 to 15 seconds. And after I watched the footage from his GoPro, I realized that had I even been close to him, it would have been really hard to net. Musky fishing on the river from shore in a lot of current, the water's high right now and the current's screaming. It's really difficult to net fish like that. And after seeing the footage, I don't think we would have got it regardless, no matter what I had done differently, but I'm still really disappointed with myself because had I been right next to him, you know, who knows? I might've got one shot. I might've reached for it. It might've swam into the net or something crazy. I mean, we, we, we would've had a better chance of landing this fish if I had been standing next to him. So that was my fault. I really regret it. But the good news was it was the first muskie he had ever hooked into on the fly. He has taken a few trips, I think like three different trips in Michigan and just pounded the water with no results at all. So first morning, first day here in Wisconsin, he hooked into one. Got off, it stinks, but we just had to keep casting and move on. That morning on the river, I think we saw about three or four fish. He had one more follow, but it wouldn't eat. And then after lunch, my buddy Brian Scaife from Angling Anarchy was kind enough to invite us into his boat to fish the Mad Chain here in Wisconsin. So Brian, thank you so much, man. You're such a good guy, uh, but go check him out. You need to go subscribe to his channel. He's been on some big fish already this season. He got his PB and then his buddy stuck his PB a week later up in Green Bay. So you need to go and watch that right right after this, after you watch this one. But um, Brian took us out on the mad chain for the second half of the day. And I think we came into contact with like five or six fish. Uh, we had two or three of them eat. None of them stayed pinned. We didn't get any in the bag. But it wasn't a bad day one. The fishing has been really slow here in Wisconsin. The water's still cold. We've had terrible weather this week, clear skies, high pressure, just not ideal. And a bunch of storms rolled through on day one, but it just still wasn't good fishing weather. And even though it was slow and we didn't land any, we saw like eight or nine fish total and had about three or four eats. So can't complain. Day two, we did a river float trip. We floated down a long stretch of one of the rivers I fished. We went in the kayak with my buddy Robbie and my other buddy um, Daniel, who makes lures he has a company called Trance Lures. You need to check him out on Facebook. He's got some really dope musky and bass lures. But um, Robbie, his wife Amber, and Daniel took us out 
And it was really cool. Great experience. My first time kayaking down a river, musky fishing. We saw, I think, like six or seven muskies. We had one or two blow up on top water. And of course, Josh once again had a musky come and eat his fly, a lower 30 inch fish. But the current was kind of taking his fly line. And on top of that, the musky hit coming at him. It hit his bait and came at him. So he had a ton of slack in his line. He was trying to strip his line as quickly as possible. But <laughs> you're making funny faces. But unfortunately, he didn't get any hooks in the fish. It spit the bait before he could catch up with the line. So we lost that one too. So day two was a long day. We covered a lot of water, came into contact with multiple fish, had a few eaters, but none of them landed. So after two days of musky fishing, we were getting our butts kicked, which is pretty typical, pretty normal. I told Josh time and time again, hooking a musky on regular tackle is hard enough and then landing it is even harder but trying to do it in the current with a fly, I mean, you know, I mad props to him for trying something so difficult. He came really close. We got him hooked up with two fish, two fish that ate, I should say. And that's what I was hoping for. I kept telling him before he got here, I said, look, dude, I'm like, I'll put you on some fish and you'll probably hook into at least one. I said, but after that, I can't make any promises because I just, I just knew landing one would be hard. So, you know, it was a success in the sense that he has never even had a follow on the fly until he came here. Now he had a couple follows, he had two eaters, he had one hooked on that we almost caught. So, you know, he got some good action. It was a lot of fun. Um, I'm, I'm disappointed I didn't get him his first muskie on the fly, but at the same time, I know this trip motivated him even more, and I know that he's going to get it done. So, you know, that's basically what we did the first two days. And this morning on this last day, we didn't do a whole lot. I, I had to come home and watch my kids. I had to help out my wife. She had some things she needed to take care of. But before I came home, we went and did a little bit of bass fishing. And I think I caught one or two bass, maybe three. Uh, but that's basically it. You know, it was great meeting Josh. Good dude. Really, really nice guy. Really enjoyed hanging out with him and fishing with him. Make sure you go and check out his channel, Peel and Drag, and subscribe if you haven't already. He does a lot of fly fishing, but he does a lot of pike fishing. He's gotten some giant pike in Michigan. It's pretty cool footage, fun to watch. And then also, like I said, check out Brian Scaife at Angling Anarchy. He's got a lot of awesome musky content coming out right now, so you don't want to miss that. As always, you guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. And just keep casting. <laughs> Later, guys. everybody so you might notice this guy here how's it going guys josh from peel and drag day one here we got three days in a row here in yep. wisconsin he's crashing at my place and the goal the mission is simple you guys musky on the fly for me we got to get a musky on the fly i don't know how to do that so clearly he's going to do that we're going to try i'm just going to try to put him on fish so this is our first stop of the trip we're pretty excited we're pretty pumped we're on a, on a river and i know there's muskies here so let's see if we can get it done y'all Let's do it. Peace. Fish. Yep. Oh my gosh. Nope. It's a giant walleye, I think. Yep, it's a giant walleye. It's a big walleye. Oh, really? Yep, not surprised. This happens here often. It's a nice one though, dude. Can we know this still? Yeah. Oh wow, yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> they get pretty big in here. Yeah. I've caught bigger, but that's a good one. That's a nice walleye. Alright guys. I just put on my glider like fourth cast. Third or fourth cast, I just got like a 25, probably 26 inch walleye, maybe more, we'll see. We'll get a measurement. All right, you guys, 26 and a half, almost 27 inch walleye on a musky glider. Pretty crazy. Really nice fish. Gonna let her go.
I forgot to show you guys real quick. This is the bait that walleye bit on. My new glider from Mike. I don't know, it's like a six to eight inch glider. <laughs> That's what that 26 and a half inch walleye hit. Crazy. <laughs> Battery just died. Yeah. <laughs> I've literally had that happen. Now it's musky, but oh. it gets so annoying. <laughs> like all the like, camera dies. I think it was steel, yeah. I was making a drift and I was like, we hit the same drift, like flow fishing. Are you kidding Fish. me? Fish. Oh. Are you kidding me? Here you go, Jeff. Fish? Yep. Holy crap. Are you serious? Oh, it's large mouth. It's large mouth. Is it? No, it's a pike, I think. No, is it a mouth. Walter? I think large. it's a big old Walter, dude. It's a largey. Oh, it is a largey. It's That's a largey. <laughs> I hate large mouth now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, That's honestly, I, I was going to be pissed if I got a musky right now. I was just saying that. Just too. camera just died. Just camera <laughs> just died. And we seriously don't get a musky right now. There's two, three, look, look, come here. Now come here, quietly, quietly. There's four. There's four big ones right here. There's four of them, all between 18 to 20. All of them. Got him. Got him. Oh, he's mad. He's mad. See? Not a giant, but it's a good one. <laughs> See that? Yeah. That's how you, I got it. That's how you do it. Nice. I told you it's gonna be a sight fishing day. It's, it's gonna be tough, but I knew I could get one if I saw him. <laughs> I knew it. See how I wasn't doing much on the bot? I wasn't doing much with the bait. Yeah. I was barely even wiggling it. It wasn't doing anything. I let it sink. That's how they like it here, at least the bigger fish. Now this isn't a big, big one, but this it's isn't. A yeah, it's a nice fish. It's a good start. It's a good start. All right, guys, out here with Josh from Peel and Drag. Been here probably about 45 minutes, almost an hour. It's tough conditions, super clear skies, calm, no wind, clear water, and the water's really shallow, which sucks. But we finally saw a school of bass cruising and I threw out at him and right away got a bite. So first fish, probably about a three pounder, a little lean, 18 and a half, might go 19. Not a bad fish though. We're gonna get a picture and let her go. All right guys, here she is. Gonna let her go. Hopefully we can get a bigger one. That's a good start though. 